Hey guys, welcome back to Salt's Ultimate Iron Man series. So we've got a lot of ground to cover. Firstly, we need to figure out a game plan going forward. So I'll hang out at Pest Control and put together some ideas. Alright, it has been forever since I uh, did Tears of Ethics. It's been a few months, honestly, since I've played really actively. Uh, with the exception of a couple of days ago, I... Uh, did some pest control, like a hundred points worth, so not a, not a ton. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of that stuff for now. Don't mind the shovel and the potatoes. I did use some uh, intros and outros for a few episodes here. Um, still working on clearing the backlog of video footage, which is what kind of why I'm not playing a lot. Um, also, I've been sick. Also, I've been busy with real life. So, just life in general is conspiring against me here to uh, make it very difficult for me to do my RuneScape stuff here. But, eh, it is what it is. But... Anyways, let's uh yeah, let's head over here and see what we can do. Eh, 170 tiers. All right, you know what? That's not too bad, considering I screwed up a few times and I was a little distracted. So that's gonna go into a smithing, which is not really ideal, but that's okay. All right, should have been doing this this whole time. I'd probably be like 77 smithing. Anyways, um. So yeah, for for the time being here, I'm just going to be mostly uh, doing video editing, and uh, I do need to try to get another 100,000 XP sometime between now and next week. But uh, yeah, we're just shy of 100k off of 80 prayer. Um, I'm going I'm aiming for 82 so that I can get to 124 combat, and. Um, Beyond that, really, it's going to be just a matter of, like, I could get a level there pretty quick, but I'll probably, I'll probably just wait till I'm Bursting Slayer, because Bursting Slayer should get me to 99. Um, if it doesn't, it should get me pretty close, and then I'll just top it off, but uh, I need to mine Sandstone, I need to do Smithing, um, probably... Yeah, I gotta do the crafting. Gotta get at least an 85 second boost for my Fury. I should do that in the short term, honestly. Even if I was just charter hopping at this point. Um, Fletching is actually in a pretty good spot right now. Uh, I think I need 91 farming for the Magic Root task. Yeah. So that's for the Falador Elites. I think that's like one of my last tasks for Falador. Oh, no it's not. <laughs> Silly me. Um, I should go kill a mole. Like get one mole kill. That, that would be pretty easy to do. I go all save. I wonder why I haven't done all of these. Like this is... Do already basically doable. Like, oh, I need eighty-eight rune crafting for the leads. Holy shit! Okay, never mind. Um, yeah. So I've got to do a lot of killing of black knights. I gotta freaking get eighty-eight rune crafting. Yeah, it's gonna be a little while before I get the Falador leads done, but I can at least get the Falador hards done. So I should probably prioritize doing that somewhat soon. Um, what are the hard lumberage tasks? Bones, to, uh, gotta, gotta unlock that. Another task that just requires an empty inventory. Uh, okay. Alright, so these are all pretty easy. I should do this, uh, yeah, I should do the Lumber Strainer Hards. Uh, Karamja Hards. 
easy, relatively easy, easy. Yeah, all this is is pretty pretty quick. Candorin. Oh, this is the one I need to do Barbasol for. Yeah, okay. And... Oh, okay. I've got to crypto you longbow. Huh. But, like, realistically here, like... Oh, God. I have to buy a freaking granite body from Barbasol just to do this stupid thing. I objectively should do this, though. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, Oops. but doable. Um, Remy, I still didn't do this. Oh, my God, I'm dumb. Oh well, I uh, I do need to go do this. I thought I was done with that place, but I need to do this on my main as well. So I'll probably just run there with both iron and main simultaneously. Well, once I unlock the door, I'll just like wait with main in the safe spot and run with iron and then do it with main. But yeah, this should be a piece of cake, honestly. Yeah, I I could complete the mediums and the hards in uh, about an hour, probably maybe two. No, honestly, an hour. I should do that. Uh, we already went over the Falador one. Desert. I think hard requires a KQ. Yep. Um, I really should do contact. Last but not least, Artie. Check the hell of a palm tree. You gotta do death. The um, map too. Okay. Well, I'm almost ninety freaking Slayer at this point. I'm just gonna wait till I'm ninety to do map two because, like, what's the point? I can just get the death talisman as a drop. But yeah. Um. All in all. Um. All in all, this is not looking too bad. What about the Western provinces? Um, yeah, I can do that in about an hour. Could probably do this in about two hours, like the mediums and the easies. Yeah, I can do everything except the snack kill here. Pretty much in like an hour. Maybe maybe two. And then we're not doing the wilderness diary, because um at least not right now. I'd like to actually get these done, but um I have to death pile for this and then I'm just not in a place right now where I'm where I'm willing to do that. Um before I do that I want to get the ornament kit for this. Um You know, realistically... Oh, I forgot I had the f fucking Fury Ornament Kit. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, realistically... there I gotta deal with some stuff before I'm willing to, to just death pile for that uh, hellish adventure. But that shouldn't be that hard, honestly, getting those diaries done. At least, um... At least the... Me up through the mediums. Um, yeah, I I don't think I would be doing the boss kills just yet. But honestly, like as far as it, as far as the wilderness diary goes, I can do it. Um, I'll just do it around the same time I'm doing major in a one and two, because I do plan to do those. Um, I just have to freaking death pile for it, which is going to be annoying, but it's doable. 
But yes, so all in all, um, there's a new quest, Garden of Death. Interesting. Okay. There's a new quest there. I'll have to check out what that is. Yeah. I'm going to work on uh, video editing, and then I probably will finish off at least 80 prayer, probably 82. And then um, maybe I'll do some smithing. Probably not with this inventory, so I'll probably not do that. But uh, I don't know, probably, probably fishing. Get up to like 90. Yeah. Anyways, I'll burn that bridge when I get to it. it. It really depends. I've got still like 105 hours of video footage that I've got to process. So, after doing a little bit of thinking here, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and head back to Slayer. Um, pest control's great and all, but like, realistically, I need money and I need prayer XP, and I still need Slayer XP. It probably would behoove me here to just go ahead and head back to Slayer. Also get me closer to getting 99 magic done. I think after I get the next two games here done, I'm going to head back to Slayer. Alrighty. Let's head over and grab our prayer XP, and then, yeah, it's, it's time to skedaddle. Uh, blam. So unfortunately, all of my gear is here. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to freaking re suicide if I want to do Slayer. Uh, I'm not, not digging it. I think what I'm. I'm eh, it's so frustrating. What was I even going to do with these? I don't remember. So I going to... Was I seriously going to take this to the arty course? Like, if I was 88 agility, maybe I would. I'm going to drop those to my main. I don't really give a crap about summer pies on here. God, that's got to be fun here. Yep, there's my tunnel. There's my Derek's put away. Let me get this, at least this bit of my inventory sorted out here, and then I'll figure out what I'm doing. Oh boy, trying to figure out like where I was before, like many, many, many months ago is uh, is fun. I just got done editing all the footage from all the way from January of la of, of 2022 last year. It's now January 2023, so that was. Uh, Quite a um, trip down memory freaking lane, and uh, yeah. So realistically, here I know based on like the footage I went through, my intentions were to work towards getting concave because I don't want to make more house tabs, and I remember how much of a pain in the ass that was. Um. And I know that I want to make my Fury so I can get rid of the ornament kit that's sitting in my looting bag right now. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, I have no more looting bags. So there's that as well. I think for now, I know that this is just going to go into looting bag. So I think we take that out for now and put that away. And I can't do con really like this. Like even if I wanted to start doing some of the con, like it's just not realistic to do it like this. And this is I'm not gonna use these for a very long time. So and I'm not gonna use these for a very long time, and I'm not gonna use these seeds for a very long time. Yeah, let me go. Put some more stuff away really quickly and see where we're. Uh, that was where we're. Oh, also, for the record, I am not a fan of this. Uh, the, the click box for that is way too big. Like, it's all the way out there. I'm not even, like, hovering over it. I'm not keeping torstals. 
And then we will go ahead and pay a visit to Ferox. And that's a completely full looting bag. Last but not least, I will get my seed box and herb sack, as well as my seeds. And I'm just going to pull the rest of this shit out of here. So there's everything. I think in the short term we're going to be looking at getting... Uh, let me actually head back to Ferox. I'm pretty sure I don't have any more looting bags. Which is a big, big feels bad. Yeah. Uh, hey. No. Uh, uh, this. I have to do this hellish bullshit. So. I'm going to go and uh, heat my life for a bit. I guess. Oh, God. Bullshit, I hate this goddamn. Took me 12 minutes to get a single point. I don't PvP. I don't care about PvP. I've never cared about PvP. What am I trying to do? Um, yeah, no, I've never cared about PvP in this game. Like, er, well, no, not never, but like, not in like, not since I was like 10 years old. Is it just, it's, it's like, what the, who f cares? Oh, I'm better. I killed you. Oh, look at me. I'm strong. Mm. Like, I don't f care. You don't talk about a game that has real PvP. This this is not f it. Like, when you have it entirely dependent on RNG of hits. I mean, yeah, there's there's a certain level of skill, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll acknowledge that. It's fine. But... It's still like 75% RNG. Because you get up all the skill in the world and still land a f one. Or not even hit. Because game's just like. Eh. So, yeah, no. Anyways, uh, that's enough of me salting. There's a couple tasks that I want to do actually that are going to require me to have a pretty damn empty inventory. Oh, wait, I don't need that. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and do some of those, like the rune crafting, craft X amount of whatever rune. Okay. Yep, so that's all I need. Uh, so I need a water talisman and I need a cosmic talisman. I'm actually going to grab my void back out for just a minute here. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, be back when I get this talismans. Oh my god, I was literally just questioning the existence of this item. Um, yeah, okay. Well, there's that, now I can suicide and uh, proceed with my life. That was not fun. Okay, this is uh, fun. I really regret not grabbing Graceful before I uh, left my house. But I actually couldn't even use like my rune pouch because I need everything of my inventory here. But, uh... That's the elite task for the Lumbridge set. Yep, there we go. So there's the hard task for the Lumbridge and Drainer set. So I decided not to go back to Slayer right away. Uh, I really do need to get rid of some items and optimize my inventory and looting bag situation. I figured that the best place to start would be with getting crafting done so I could get rid of my seaweed spores, noted giant seaweed, and make my fury to get rid of my glory and fury ornament kit. I need to mine 144,000 buckets of sand worth of sandstone. So first things first, I need to get my camulet back. I also decided to spend the million GP to upgrade it so it has unlimited charges. So now I need to go get water skins and I'm gonna wear this. And that's that. So now I have to, every time I'm here, I have to go the long way out for now, unfortunately. It's a little bit annoying, but a lot faster than running from the fairy ring. So that's another mill down the drain, but you know, I like permanent unlock things like that. Uh, getting this just feels nice. I don't need to worry about buying that in the future. And eventually I'll have the, the diaries done so it'll teleport me like right, right in here somewhere. So anyways, uh, yeah. Off to hell we go. I'm so confused right now. I feel bad for this guy. I know your pain, man. I know your pain.
All right, so up to just shy of 10,000 buckets of sand so far. Um, so no sandstone here gets me a, the first level I think I've gotten in uh, several months here, so that's nice. Well, son of a bitch. I forgot to start recording before I got the level, but at least we uh, have the dialogue up still. So there's 80 mining. That's uh, pretty cool. Um, just about here in a little bit, I think I'm just over 24,000 buckets of sand, so I'll be getting my first stack of 25k out here pretty soon. Okay, so there we go, there's 25,000. Now we will claim our sand, these are 50 coins each, and there goes a mill, or 1.2 million, so we rip money, but... There we have it. Oh, I love these geniuses. Are we gonna play this game? Eh, uh, salt. Alrighty, there's 81 mining. Uh, it unlocked literally nothing, but... Um, <clears throat> yeah, we're pushing here now a 12 hour... Straight session of mining sandstone. My uh, efficiency's dropped off a fair bit after about the nine hour mark. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Mining's not really my favorite thing, and definitely not this, but um, yeah. The price to pay, so we'll do it. Okay, so that is another 25,000 buckets of sand here. So we're up to 50k. However, I can't actually do anything with it until I go ahead and get 25,000 more buckets. Piss off. Fucking A. This is why I can't have my debut ornament kit, because I keep getting that shit. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Uh, I'm gonna have to go get more money out of NMC. I'm just gonna grab my 10 mil stock. I generally like to keep increments of 10 mil in there, so. Pulling out the reserve. All of it. Uh, it will cost me another several million to get this whole stack of sand out anyways. And then I need some, probably some more astrals. I don't think that 6,500 will be enough. Uh, deposit buckets, 25k, claim sand, 25k, goodbye money, deposit, fuck you, deposit buckets, 25k, probably should have grabbed an extra water skin, now it's gonna look funky in my inventory, but what, whatever. So, hippity hoppity, and, um, let's see if I can... I was on 41, wasn't I? That's what I'm talking about. Like, when these dickheads come in my world and be like, oh, what'd you take my spot for? And it's like, they're obvious lies because I've been there for six hours. That's why it pisses me off so much. How f***ing hard is it to f*** off a couple times? Like, f*** off, you f***ing lazy c Okay, there's 82 mining. Uh, let's see where we're at for sand. Uh, up to 56,800 buckets of sand, so getting there. So apparently my mic settings for OBS got reset, and I didn't realize it, and I lost all my live commentary for several clips. And then a couple of clips actually fully corrupted because I was recording in a different format, hoping that I could use a newer version of Premiere, thanks to Adobe deciding that they don't want to support MKV format anymore. I've since fixed the issue. But for now, I have to voice over and explain what happened during the clips that got corrupted. So I got a hard clue step for deep buildy, which I dropped. Shocker. I did get a couple new uniques from clue scroll caskets. Then I decided to buy the remainder of the buckets that I needed for this sandstone grind. I withdrew another 25,000 buckets of sand and restocked the sandstone with buckets. So here's 83 mining. I got a lamp, and I decided that uh, for now on, uh, free XP that I get is going to go to prayer instead of herb lore. Honestly, herbs are not really particularly hard for me to get, especially with Master Farmer and Thieving Cape and the fact that I'm going to do a whole bunch of Slayer and now I can do Mole. Like, I really don't think that 
it's particularly hard to train, and I genuinely prefer grinding Herblore than uh, Best Control. So, uh, here's a clue step that I won't do, and here's some new uniques. 84 mining. Here's 100,000 buckets of sand. 85 mining. So I recalculated the sand requirement, and I realized that I needed about 5,000 less sand. So I adjusted my plan to finish 86 mining at the Mining Guild Iron Rocks. So I got 86 mining, and I did a clue. Then I decided to complete the Varrock Hard Diary. I did falconry to catch two dashing cabots, made and equipped the spottier cape. I cut and burned a yew log at the Varrock Church. I hunted minotaurs for the scepter part. Um, I killed flesh crawlers and uh, cantip polans or whatever the hell they're called. The the green dog looking things that use magic. I got my skull, the, the final skull piece from Ankus and combined the scepter and teleported to complete the Varrock Hard Diary. Well, that accidentally worked out pretty well. Um... I wasn't actually probably going to record a clip, but it came out so perfect, why not? So there's 20,000 giant seaweed. I need about 3,000, like 200 more? 100, something like that. Uh, I don't remember the exact number here. Um, I have not been training crafting while doing this. Um, I do need to start working on that, but... That mining grind kind of took it out of me a little bit, so I'm just... Uh, Chilling, playing some other games, and doing my uh, seaweed runs pretty much as often as I can. So this is adding up pretty quick. Um, what is the exact number that I need? 23,055. So just under, or just over 3,000 more. And that is 99 crafting. So, hell yeah. Alright, there's 82 crafting. Uh... You make black the edge chaps, that's pretty cool. Oh, actually, that didn't know that was the requirement for uh, blade and bow. Okay, cool. So that actually should be really, really close to the amount of seaweed I need. I would just drop these uh, seaweed spores, but I am going to put them in my seed box for now. Uh, I will be dropping them as soon as I know that, the, uh, that I have 99 crafting supplies. Okay. So that should be enough for all of this. I'm going to come back and get more if I need it, but... And there's 83 crafting. Uh, actually a good level, because that's uh, amethyst bolt tips. Uh, those will be useful in the future. Obviously, we're going to get a hell of a lot further than that with these, but... Um, yeah. Uh, four more levels until I can do light orbs, so that'll be great. Two more levels till I can technically boost for a fury. And there's 84 crafting. Uh, black dehyde bodies now, it looks like. So that's pretty dope. Um, I can actually go make the black dehyde for, I think it's master step in, uh, on Entrana if I really wanted to. God damn it, I missed the, uh, the level up here. <laughs> Or the, uh, well, I missed the fireworks, but there's 85 crafting. Um, yeah, I, okay, great. Um, so that's nice. Um, I can now boost to make a fury. Uh, so if I did dip out of this grind early, I could conceivably go make that. Oh, shit, there I go, not paying attention again. But, um, there's 86 crafting. And 87 crafting. And there's 88 crafting. Uh, not a whole lot more to say on that one. And there is 90 crafting. Nine more to go. Alright, so that's, I don't think the most I've ever gotten, but that was pretty close. So that's something I should have been doing every week and I haven't been doing, but eh, better late than other. Alright, there's 91 crafting. Um, nothing unlocked at this level as far as I'm aware. 
Okay, so I just realized something here. Um, <laughs> for some reason, I thought that it was only one astral for every cast of glass make, but apparently it's two. So I was wondering why my uh, my rune stack was a lot lower than I thought it should be. Um, I'm gonna have to go buy another like six thousand five hundred astrals or so. Um, <laughs> so that's uh, that's fun. There is 92 crafting. Can make uh, an anguish now if I really wanted. Uh, obviously, <laughs> not likely to happen anytime in the near future, but it's pretty nice. All right, we're averaging a pretty uh, nice thing. We're keeping up above 90, 90k an hour. Um, I did have to go buy more runes, um, so that was that took a little bit of a few minutes, but. Uh, Obviously, I reset the uh, the hour, uh, XP per hour rate here, um, but it's nice to be under 100,000 buckets. That's uh, definitely going to be a little more motivating. Um, have all the runes I should need for this as well, so uh, now it should be smooth sailing straight up to 99. All right, so I just had a revelation. Um, I need to only get to 97 crafting um i will get the rest of the way to 99 from rune crafting i am actually going to do this the uh faster way um even if i don't pick up any glass i will get I have like 1.5 times the amount of supplies. I think I can even get 99 just doing this, the, the full XP method instead. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm just gonna go for max rates and uh, bang this out as quick as possible and get this done. Uh, this should shave off a lot of time. Um, 4.27 times a thousand divided by we can get 115,000 XP an hour. It's 37 hours to get to 97. Um, I'm going to see what the rate is. Uh, I'm going to go full focus here and see what I can get. Oh, this is so much faster now. And... 93 crafting. That is freaking nice. Uh, I'm also 6,000 XP off of a magic level, so we're going to go ahead and go get that really quick. And there's 95 magic. We can fire surge with the uh, wrath runes that we don't have. Alright, and there is 94 crafting. Uh, literally nothing unlocks at 94. Oh man, okay. So... Definitely, this is uh, one hell of a grind here. Um, this is still on the same day that I got 94. Um, I literally was 91. Um, my version of yesterday. <laughs> uh, I got four hours of sleep in the past 40, so I'm... Uh, Definitely dropping off on the efficiency. I'm so f***ing tired, guys. You have no idea. It is currently Saturday morning at like 3.30 a.m. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this level and I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> but, um, yeah, there is 95 crafting. That's basically the last level it'll get that actually gives any unlocks, really. Um, technically, 98 unlocks Zenite, and 99 obviously unlocks the cape, but um, uh, Zenite Amulet, I'm sorry, for 98. Um, really struggling to, to think here. Um, but, like, realistically, uh, aside from that, like... I can make basically everything, and I can boost for every single item now. Um, plus three boost to make a Zenite Amulet is also really easy, so pretty dope. Uh, I will be getting up to 97 still. Um, that is going to take me... Hopefully I'll get uh, 96 
within the day when after I wake up here and part way to 97 and then I'll finish off 97 here on uh, tomorrow Sunday uh, <laughs> and then I gotta edit this video so <laughs> yeah but uh, that was on hell of a grind um, also let me actually Uh, let me log out here and log back in just to update the high scores here. Look at the uh, wise old man here. Uh, it says 1,649,000 total XP, 1,575,000 crafting XP, 14 hours effective hours played. But uh, we all know that that is absolute bullshit for a UIM. It's more like double that number, roughly. So, pretty cool uh, to get such insane grind done. I think at peak efficiency, I think I actually did tip up to about 2 million XP gained in 24 hours. Uh, but my XP, if it, or my efficiency in doing this really f***ing tanked. Um, I'm just, I'm so tired. I, I can't maintain efficiency even when I try. It's it's so bad. So I'm going to get my ass to sleep here like as soon as possible. But uh, in addition to uh, getting that level, that actually puts me down under 1,100 uh, for overall rank uh, for UIM. Uh, slowly but surely getting, working my way back up the leaderboards here. Um, that eight month break that I took last year really did kind of screw me, but, um, yeah, looking pretty good though. I'm really, really happy about this crafting level. That is pretty freaking nice looking, honestly. And two more, and then I will basically not have to do this skill ever again on this account, which will be, uh, fantastic. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go get some sleep and uh get back to the grind here when i wake up i'm not setting an alarm uh, i'm just gonna let myself sleep and figure figure it out so anyways i will uh see you guys tomorrow hey hell yeah got staraki yanko here got 99 herb lore. good stuff he's been uh hanging out here we've been talking about some math sh shenanigans here while i've been uh And there's 96, unlocks literally nothing. And there is 97, that's the last level that we're going to get from this grind. So, it is almost 8 in the evening here, or 8 at night, as it were. I got 6 hours of this shit to do, so that's going to put me, put me till 2 in the morning here. I still haven't even started editing the video, so this is going to be a real fun night for me, but uh... Yeah, I need to have the video uploaded in 12 hours, so this is uh, not ideal. I should have put a couple more hours in a day each day during earlier in the week, but shoulda, coulda, woulda, didn't, uh, and so here we are. Oh my god, this is like the fourth freaking take on this. I am so tired I can't even speak, guys. Um, I did want to finish my theory in the video, but I don't see that happening. Uh, as it is, I am just shy of 100k off from finishing 11.27 million XP, which is the amount of XP that I should be able to stop at and never have to do this god-awful grind again. The video is uh, quite a lot longer than what I was aiming for, but I didn't really want this grind to span over multiple videos. Uh, I have been working really hard to catch up on all of my footage, and uh, actually this recording uh, is only a couple of hours uh, prior to the video being uploaded, so, well, prior to the video going live. Um... All said and done, I think it was about 200 hours of gameplay in this video, so definitely um, probably, probably pretty close to being the max amount of content that I've ever put into a single video. Um, like I said, I just I just wanted to get it done in one video rather than 
ban it over multiple. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed all the progress in this video, and as always, I am open to feedback and suggestions. So I'll be back next week with crafting the Fury and uh, moving on to some more detailed plans of my skilling grinds going forward. I would like to try to max uh, sometime in the next few months, so that would be pretty cool. Um... We'll see what, what we can do, but uh, I think it's like 2,000-something hours of uh, grinds to do, so we'll see. But anyways, in the meantime, I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and take care of yourselves, stay safe, and I will see you guys next time.